Hey guys, I am back with Alex and this week we are doing something very different. Yeah. What are we doing? This week we're testing out kitchen gadgets. Those kind of like ones you see on TV. This gadget's gonna change your life because it's gonna help you scoop out an avocado. Is that something you really need? Well, we're gonna find out. What do you wanna go with first? What's grabbing your eyes? Um, it's only because it's the most interesting looking out of all of them. It's the giant pencil sharpener. That is exactly what I want to start with. That looks like, I'm guessing this is for a carrot. I I'm think I know this is for, for a, a carrot. carrot. It's got a peeler on the front as well. See that? Straight into it, look at that. Oh, and is that is a this how peeler? it's going? It's yeah. not bad actually. That's actually pretty good. Do you want to look on Amazon how much this was? Yeah, the grand total of £1.76. Do you know what? That was not bad actually. It probably took me more goes than a normal yeah. one, but that wasn't bad. But that's like a side part to this. The main event for this and the real is selling point the is sharpener. the sharpener. Is it kind of like spiralizing? I guess so. That's so thin, isn't it? You could literally sharpen a pencil look, in there, I think. Look, it literally looks oh like word. a shaving from a pencil. It looks like human skin. Smoked salmon. Oh my word, this is so weird. It, yeah, it looks like slices of salmon, doesn't it? It literally looks like smoked salmon. Would look you? at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never carrot seen carrots slice so thinly. No. And I'm not necessarily sure I have a use for that. I'm not necessarily sure I have a use for that I either. Can I see what the te texture is like when yeah, you... Yeah, it actually tastes quite good. Does it? Do. But I've never really thought, oh, I really the... want thin shavings of cucumber on top of my salad or... I didn't think I wanted one, but I want a carrot pencil now. That's quite cool, actually. That's probably more cool than the... Uh... Yeah. Do you know who would love this, though? Who? Jamie Oliver. Why? Because it's going to get your kids eating their veg, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Will you buy it? No. No. Harsh this time. Not okay. harsh, it's no. a yes or no, and that's a no. Something which I think is going to work, and you probably didn't even see on the table. It looks like one of those rings that you used to get a lolly on. Oh, yeah. But this is actually an orange peeler. What you're meant to do is... Are you meant to put it on your finger? That doesn't really work, does it? Let's Maybe see. your thumb. Maybe you oh, do yeah. like this and pull around. Oh, yeah. It's going through. Think that? It's actually quite good, isn't it? So I've sliced all the way round. Let's see how this comes off. Oh yeah. That's that really actually, good, actually does work. I that reckon if really you did well. another one in the middle, it would probably work even yeah, better. Yeah, do you want to have a go? Right, let's have a look. And then I reckon, don't you do one down there, maybe? I don't know. I think the technique is up to you, really. Look at that. Yeah, and obviously perfect. you've got some white bits, but, you know, you get And that maybe anyway. if you... Look, you could even get tricky and do some, like, orange patterns. designing patterns. That can't be that expensive, I don't think can that's it? Expensive. I think this is great to have in your bag or in your cupboard. Oh. It's going to use. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have. Well, not that I carry a bag in general, but I don't Why think it's the kind of thing bag? you should carry. I think you put it in your Don't bag if you've got an anyone. orange with you at work oh, or whatever. Oh, if you've got an orange with yeah. you. Yeah, but I think it's definitely worth having in the cupboard at home because it it's so small. It takes up no room whatsoever. Would you buy it? I'd buy it. I'd buy that. How good? Can I have a strawberry? These are really good ones. Yeah. Speaking of strawberries, should we do this? Mm. I got this today, actually. This is a snack slicer. This is quite niche. Like, I'm quite happy cutting things up with a knife. I don't. I think I don't that's going to be gonna too fit. big. It takes I think just it's, as much time, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just as. That, oh, that works good, so much though. better. It. By the time you load it up, though, it's probably just as quick to throw it in and cut do you it know with what? a knife. I think it's a bit pointless for strawberries, but carrots. I think. But I think you're still going to have to cut that carrot in half to... So, first off, you have to get a knife, which is the knife you're trying to avoid. So you get your knife, and then you then put your carrot in here. Bear in mind, this was eight pounds. Eight pounds, that's quite expensive. Plus, it's going to take up quite a lot of room in your cupboard. See, even that's like a little bit too tall. Push. But... That was quite satisfying, actually. You do get very good quarters. But the thing is, by the time it took me to do that, I've already cut the carrot in half. I might as well have just cut it in half again. Yeah, but... And quartered it. it. That's also really dangerous to cut that in quarters. Let me have a go. It's too tall. You need to go the other end first as well, by the way. Well, I've already gone in. Okay. That's good, actually. That's quite good. The, the end bit is satisfying. Because... 
to get those quarters from that would be really hard really hard really hard this will probably be really good for cherry tomatoes actually don't you oh yeah let's give that the a go black, the fact that you can just throw them in let's get a few oh that's cool that i think i've changed my mind one of the worst things is chopping up cherry tomatoes right. look at I've that i've got another thing cherry tomatoes pass me a couple let's try two done Oh, that's awesome. Okay, my mind's totally been changed on this. If you're a cherry tomato lover, this is the this product is the for, for you. you. I know someone who could use these for bruschetta. <laughs> buy or not to buy? Buy. Buy. But yeah, the thing with these gadgets is don't you think you tend to forget about them? Yeah, well, that's the crazy thing about them is you okay. get a really specific tool that you never thought you needed for a job that's taking up room in your cupboard. But when you actually go to do whatever that thing is, <laughs> I knew that was coming. Because <laughs> did you hear? It kind of sounded like a burp. Sorry. <laughs> I think I need to drink upside down. Yeah, drink upside down. Ah, speaking, speaking of, of avocado. Okay, this is a three in one avocado. Yeah, they've called it three in one, and that's great marketing. But it's it's one tool that's got one job. So don't call it three in one. It's only, it's a one in one. But it does the three it things. It does avocados. Yeah, but Yeah, you... but what's the point of buying a tool for avocados if it doesn't do all the things? There's no point buying a tool for avocados that only takes the stone I out. suppose, true. So true. that's just, that is pure marketing. I'm going like just through the skin. Okay, that that's pretty good. Yeah, now twist. Twist. I'm surprised it doesn't have a gadget to twist it for you. I know, and then that's meant to yeah. fit on that. Yeah. I think you've got to hit it. Yeah, there you go. That is good. Yeah. Ooh. That is oh, getting wow. some good slices, actually. Oh, wow. You like that, do you? Yes. Wowzers. Would you like a slice of yeah, avocado? This would be perfect for avocado toast, mm. salads. That was amazing. Obviously, this is quite a ripe one, so it happened really easily. Mm. Look at that! That is quite smooth actually, surprisingly. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. And safe. Bad. Always want to be oh, safe in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. And I say pushed, I think there's a skill about that. I yeah, think you need the to push bit. down into it. Now, I'm not the biggest avocado user, but I would buy that just for when I use an avocado. <laughs> this and this, I remember now, are actually from Lakeland. Oh, really? It's a shop here in the UK, um, but like with the other things, you can probably get these on either Amazon or uh. another shop near you. But yeah, this was Lakeland. If it's above eight pounds, I wouldn't buy it. If it was over a fiver, I think. You've already got a knife. Yeah, Why do you need true. to pay five pounds or more to... So it really depends on the price, mm. but I definitely would use this again. Yeah. And it's flat. This is a really good yeah, one. Yeah, but it's super wide. That's not going to fit in your knife drawer very well, is it? No. But the question is, would you buy it? No. Yes. <laughs> We've I'm got a split, a, I'm split a fool opinion for there. these things. You're a fool for a gadget. <laughs> I am. Now, I don't have a clue what these are for, but you do. How much were these, do you remember? I think they were like 99p, and I think you got the two of them. Do you not have any clue what this could be for? Well, I did have a thing before that I was like, oh, can you attach this onto your counter and it'd be a little bin? But no, that but I did go... see those and I thought they're so good, but that's actually quite expensive for what it is. What are they? These are actually for dips. So you know like when you have pizza and you start with a full pizza, but you want sauces, so you kind of have to oh make a word. hole or take a slice to get your sauce on. What you actually do is attach this to your plate. So anyway, I yeah. I can't believe you, you just... said you not know what this is as if I would guess that. What? You wouldn't guess that? Oh my word! That is awesome! Not only could it be a dip, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I prepare my food, I also look ahead for dessert. Sometimes that being some, you know, like sweets or chocolate. So oh, I'll so have can, my sandwich here and my Smarties in there. <laughs> awesome! And the crazy thing is, we've had these for so long and we probably and could have used them so many them. times. But I wanted to keep it a secret for some I'm unknown reason. I'm glad you kept it a secret. That's Love it. Good, isn't it. Would you buy? I'd buy. I'm sold on that. I'm sold on that. How good is that? So this is called Magic Cap. We'll bag into the bottom. And this was actually one of the more expensive things, I think, really? if I remember right. 
It is suitable for any plastic bags to keep food freshing. Ooh. Oh, is this from a different country? Like the translation. I seems... didn't realise the um, budget was going so high. How much? Do you is know it? how much this was? No. Nine ninety six. Nine ninety six. But you get more than one in there, don't you? Okay, so we get three in here. One large one. One large. One medium and one small. Any clue what this is yet? No, it's a piece of blue rubber with a anchor on it. <laughs> I don't know. Do you reckon? No. Oh. Is this like one of those things to help you help take lids you off things? So our current system of keeping things fresh are these little clippers here. Bottom bit, through. Oh, that's a really good bag for that. Yeah. So that shows you you can probably do cereals with this. Oh, oh yeah, cereals would be good. Get a nice gap in there. Slide on top. That won't fit. <laughs> I got this up the wrong way. No wonder it doesn't fit. <laughs> So that's what they look like in the end. That looks quite cool. Yeah, and I it? reckon that could go on even further, couldn't it? Maybe not. Yeah. So you just open this up now. Farm fresh. Obviously, you wouldn't have such jumbo things would in like... there, would you? I think that's pretty successful. I think successful. that's really good, and I'm going to keep that on there because I need to keep them fresh. Oh, wow. That's a good mm. marshmallow, isn't it? Mm. Really good marshmallow. Is there some of that chocolate sauce left? These nuts! <laughs> mm. You know that. Yeah. These nuts! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> so you shake just them out. shake them out. As Taylor Swift said. Shake it out. As Taylor Swift said. That's really good shake actually. It off. Oh, yeah, shake, shake it off. Mm. I think they're really good actually. Yeah. yeah, so actually they're really Great good. Great for my Snickers cheesecake recipe though. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Link up there. But they're actually really robust. You only get three in a pack. Yeah. So they're like three quid each. But I don't think that's too bad actually. I think that's good. I would definitely buy it. I'd buy it. I think I'd buy it. Obvious what this is. Is it? Because it looks slightly weird. It looks like a light bulb. I think if you didn't know what it oh, was. Oh actually I didn't know. You told me didn't you? Yeah so it's not obvious. So it wasn't obvious. I had no clue what this was. This is actually to get the yolk out of an egg. Hmm. Already, the, I think that's pointless. That is one of your kitchen hacks, isn't it? Mm. You can use any plastic bottle to any do it. Any bottle. So what's the point of buying and owning a specific device And I that? reckon it'll get so dirty in there, don't you think? Well, at least with a plastic bottle, you How can use it and throw it away. The grand total of 97p. Okay, so... Not too bad, eh? It's not too bad. I wonder if this will actually keep the yolk intact. Suck it up. That's not actually working. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't actually properly suck up. It's like not big enough. I suppose in some ways it's good that it doesn't go all the way up. That was you know better, wasn't say? it? Suck it up. For 97p, if you are, you know, worried about your separating eggs, I would say get it, but that just is a bit too big to be in my cupboards. So would you buy it? No, I wouldn't buy it. No, I would not buy that. And our final one, which I have actually already used many times, but I wanted to add it into this video. Yeah. So this costs three seventy nine. So that's it's a little bit more expensive, expensive, isn't it? No, but I think it's well worth it. Yeah, me too. So that's the thing. Sometimes things are hot. Sometimes, Look at that. Sometimes things are hot. Sometimes they're cold. And it's surprising because some I think you know wouldn't no, that get don't. stuck under the lid? I wonder if it'll see, go with this actual bowl. See if it works on this kind of bowl. See, it's not I sitting right because really of the curve of this. Let's see. Ready? Oh, it is working. It does. It's coming off one side, which is strange. But I think that's because you're holding it oh, right, to one I'm side. Right. That was really good. And yeah, it's three pounds something, but I would say that's worth it. And the thing is, unlike some of the other stuff, because it's silicon, you can actually f kind of fold it up and squash it. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's good. Would you buy it? I'd buy it. I'd definitely buy that too. How good. That's so good. And that is all of our gadgets for today. Let us know if you want us to do some more gadgets though, yeah. because there are so many more on Amazon, aren't yeah. there? And in other shops. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. It's not as good as trying lots of different food, <laughs> no. but it was quite interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. And I'll definitely be up for doing more. So leave us some comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. See ya.